G'day guys, on this episode of our SEMA series, we're talking to Scott Tallon from Jeep about Magneto 2.0. Hi guys, on the Jeep stand here with Scott Tallon, the man, Mr. Jeep brand in, the, in North America. Yep. And we're with Magneto 2.0. Yeah. So, yeah, what, tell us about that, but tell us about the direction and what's going on. Yeah, so, so really interesting. This is Magneto 2.0. This is a concept that we brought to, to Moab for our Easter Jeep Safari celebration yeah. every year. And what's really neat is this is 2.0 because in 2021, we took the first version of Magneto to Moab. Uh, what makes this really special is that we really took it to the next level. And this is really highlighting the capabilities of EV in that off-road space. You know, Jeep has been a leader in the off-road space for, well, you know, 75 plus years now. So, you know, for us to take it to the next level as we go through this transformation of electrification, this allows us to kind of highlight what are those capabilities. So here for 2.0, we've got two electric drive motors driving Magneto 2.0, making a whopping 850 horsepower, um, which is just, unbelievable 850 pound feet of torque which as you know off-roading torque is key right and you want it at low rpms and a, the great thing about electricity and edms is that right off of idle you've got 100 percent of that torque available so also what's new for this year is that we've now upped the ante on the wheel so now we're running on 40s this year so we upped the ante on the wheel and the tire package and what's really unique about magneto that separates it that keeps it a little bit of that old school touch is that on the inside we not only left the two-speed T-case in there for that low range, but yep. you've got a true, proper, manual six-speed gearbox in wow. here. So you've got a, a very you know, high-tech, futuristic powertrain that's really powering the vehicle, but the running gear, much of which is very traditional. So the six-speed gearbox, and you, know, you ask, why do you do that? Why do you need it? But as you know, off-road, you want to be in control of managing the torque, managing the throttle, oh. and how oh. much torque oh. you put down and when, and there's no better way to do it than with a manual gearbox. So we kept all that intact. And on the, from the inside, you would look that this is very much, looks like a Wrangler from the yeah. inside. It looks very um, standard. Very, very standard, but it's anything but. And so the amazing thing is that, yeah, it's great off-road, but the on-road performance, as everyone knows with EVs, allows for phenomenal performance. This Magneto is capable of zero to 60 in two and a half seconds. Two, two and a half yeah. seconds. And we're talking miles an hour. We're not talking kilometers. No, those miles per hour. Um, not sure why you would ever want to even attempt it, but you know the fun factor is just off the off the charts here. But what this does is is it really showcases, it really foreshadows where we are headed in the future. If we were going to continue to be a leader in this space and off road, uh, we know electrification is going to be a piece of it. But how we leverage it to improve our capability, along with the efficiency. Um, we know is going to be key in separating us. I mean, I mean, I've got so many questions. I mean, I can see these things being used, and it's being wheeled. I can see the marks on the tires, and there's a few other little marks and touches on it. And I've driven it uh, a number of times off road, and it's it's really just amazing. It's a weird feeling. You get in the Jeep, and you you hit the start button like you normally do. Yeah. And nothing starts. You hear a couple of buzzing, and you know there's some electrical noise, but that's it. You put the put it in gear, push in the clutch, put it in gear like you normally would, release the clutch, it, very traditional. There's no noise, but you're getting that direct feedback. The yep. pickup is really natural. It's a really natural pickup for the clutch. And then just go through the gears mm -hmm. as you normally would. Um, it's just it's just a lot of fun, and it's in pure silence, too. But so. having the horsepower, I mean, you could just start off in fourth gear. Easily, easily. With uh, uh, Easily put it in fourth gear, just let and up just, the clutch, very little throttle, well, and it'll just pulls right away. Wow. I mean, it's, I mean, I've obviously seen the photos and seen, her, seen a little bit, but seeing it in person, she's definitely something that's um, to be admired. It is, and it's, it's just, again, it, it, we're, we're excited about Magneto 3.0 and, and really how we move this into the production space, right? Because that is gonna be the future. Um, I think our four by eight technology is, is a really good space for where Jeep is transitioning. You know, we've coupled a gas engine with, with uh, two electrical two motors, motors, two EDMs. Yep. Um, and there, you've got 470 pound-feet of torque. Again, 
extra torque at that low speed RPM. So not only is it a more efficient Wrangler that's in market today, but it's also more capable. So we didn't set out just to make it more efficient. It had to be a better Wrangler at the same time. So we probably could have made, we could have had a plug-in for 10 years ago. It would have been a really good hybrid, but yeah. it would have been a really crummy Wrangler. So we really, as we developed the JL, it was dedicated you know, from the very beginning that we were gonna electrify that platform, but at the same time, improve the capability. So, so is this thing running in lockers still and, and um, I've disconnecting sway bar and? Disconnecting sway bar, front and rear lockers. Again, this is, this so is this the is, king of capability so this is, in, this the AV, is, in the EV space. So this is a, basically a Rubicon that's just been taken to that next level. Yeah, it truly has, and and you know, you know, we like to celebrate a lot of things about our Jeep and show it off. You know, I love, even the blue hood here. here. So the blue accents are undeniable. It's a signature part of our EV and our four by E. But here we celebrate underneath with the, the Lexan. It's blue, but you can see the inverter, the power inverter, right yep. there on the top. So it's like a piece of jewelry, and to really kind of highlight it, and celebrate it. What a better place to put it! Wow. Well, thanks for your time. It's been awesome. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming out. And um, no, we look forward to, um, we've now, we've now forewarned it's 3.0. Well, yeah, and then, you know, the factory versions, of Door course, of the, the, the yeah. 4x8, and now we're launching the Grand Cherokee e, 4x8 e. version that's now hitting the marketplace, too. too. So we've got two great plug-in hybrid options, and, you know, the Wrangler's any indication, which is the number one selling plug-in hybrid in the U.S. right now, is the Wrangler. So wow. we're really excited about the Grand Cherokee and, and really the future of the brand. But well, we can't wait to see it down under. I mean, it's, it's pretty exciting, and, yeah. That's going to be great. Let's go look at the Trailhawk, yeah. Yeah. Because that is closer to a production car. Well, right? I mean, that's, that, they're about to, the, so we're about to get the five-seater. I was going to ask you if, yeah, if the two so, rows made it to. So we, we get them, we're going to get them sort of early next year. So. And, and while this so, was a, 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 this was a Moab concept that we brought to Eastern Jeep Safari this year, um, we really did it to help celebrate the launch of the Grand Cherokee 4 by e but what you'll notice is that there is extra capability built right. in here. And what's what's really cool is, you know, the wheel and tire package. We've got a 20-inch wheel wrapped in 35-inch tires. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, big rubber on a Grand Cherokee just really takes and amplifies that aggressive look. The Grand Cherokee already has that great stance, but this just puts that capability look on it. Um, and being our, our Trailhawk model, it's always our most capable model. So if you've got, you'll notice on the front of the vehicle, we've got you know recovery hooks on the front and the rear yeah. vehicle, uh, both highlighted in the surf blue to, to celebrate the electrification yeah. piece of it. But again, very much like the, the Wrangler 4 bay you've got a two liter four cylinder engine, made it to two EDMs with a 17.3 kilowatt hour motor. Um, over 25 miles of all electric range, and yep. again, allows the owner to, to manage how they want to use that electricity. So they can leave it automatic mode and let the Jeep manage it and find the most efficient way to get you from point A to point B. Yep. Um, you can go into um, E, all electric mode, yep. and just pure electric until the battery's depleted, then the gas engine will kick on. Or you can have an e-save function where you can actually save your battery for when you get to the, the national park or the trailhead and you want to do some of that wheeling and enjoy that in silence. Yep. You can save the battery for when you can use it at a later time. So it literally puts the owner in charge of how they want to manage the energy on board. So, I mean, it's obviously being a concept, you know, we've um, been over with Dan, he was talking about the roof and a couple of other things. But I mean, in a whole essence, this is, this is pretty much not far from, from, from the production standard. model. No, except for really the wheels and tires and some other special accents, but you know, it is the Trailhawk. Oh. So what you get with the Trailhawk, obviously the recovery hooks, but underneath it, what you don't see is that, of course we have air suspension. So to give yep. you that extra ground clearance, um, you know, we have two speed TK, so you've got four low. Yep. You've got a full complement of body armor and skid plates to protect all the critical components underneath. And for the first time ever, we have a sway bar disconnect in a Trailhawk on a Grand Cherokee, much like the Wrangler. So wow. for that extra articulation, that's very important, as you know, off-roading, yep. uh, to get that extra articulation, we now have a sway bar disconnect standard mm -hmm. on the Trailhawk. That's, that's just more traction, so no, that's, that's fantastic. And I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it, you've got the facelift, the capabilities, it's just, 
I can't wait to see it down under. No, can't wait to, to, to ship them down under. And we, we really think everyone's going to be as excited as we are. It's, it's, it's really, again, finding that, striking that balance of, of you know, the premium side of what a Grand Cherokee is, truly the capability, but taking this unique model that's special to us and really special in the marketplace and, and really showcasing what the 4xe technology does for the vehicle. That's fantastic. All right, thanks for your time, Scott, again, and we'll- no, um, thank you very much. We'll, um, we'll keep an eye on what you guys have to come. I can't wait till, uh, till uh, Easter Jeep next year. Neither can I. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.